um, hello everyone so welcome back in this video i'll talk about um, about creating free azure subscription now you can create a free azure subscription uh, which will give you azure active directory free account but there is a way in most of us whoever has created free azure subscription or is going to create a free azure subscription we are usually creating this subscription to test azure features or maybe to prepare for the certification so if you're testing why not test the premium features and not not just the free features that is why i'm creating this video now when you create azure free subscription um, it will give you azure active directory free um, free features but if you want to explore um, Azure Active Directory Premium feature, Premium gives you conditional access. It also gives you privileged identity management or called PIM. It also gives you um, gives you identity manager. A lot of features that you can test. So if you want to follow along, uh, go ahead and follow this video. If you do not want, and if you just want to create a free Azure Active Directory, I mean, if you just want to create the uh, free account the usual way then you can skip to the second part of this video now um, now i mean I'll, I'll link this this article which explains what is the difference between premium and free azure active directory options now to create this um, this option what you can do is uh, there is um, uh, there's something called so azure active directory is part of office 365 program now you will have to subscribe um, you'll have to subscribe to the Office 365 for Microsoft 365 developer program, which we will do using um, which we will do using this link. I'll also share my link which I've written and you will find this link. And we have to click on join now. Now this will ask you to sign into your account. Usually you should be creating a new account that is or if you have an existing Microsoft account You can use the existing Microsoft account and now I don't have an existing Microsoft account So I'll choose to create a new one I'll choose my Account I use my password um, it will send me a link I just verify the link I don't want to receive the offers or spam messages now as soon as I verify it will ask me to uh, to ensure that I'm not a bot it will ask for a few verifications the frog now it also asks you to enter the mobile number I will enter further details my company is the tech guy i accept the terms and conditions and now i don't want to receive the informational and offers i click on next what is my focus my focus is to custom solutions it's just for their records and their data you can choose anything i save and sandbox so it provides me a sandbox with the microsoft 365 so microsoft 365 uses azure active directory for user management so getting microsoft 365 e5 subscription means i automatically get azure active directory subscription now i can get an instant sandbox i can create my configure my sandbox with the options that I have I don't want that since I'm testing I'll go ahead with the sample or with the existing um, instant sandbox which gives me 25 user license one SharePoint teams mails and everything I go ahead and click on next 
I choose whichever region that's fine I don't I mean this is for your data center you can choose anything my um, admin username I just keep the shield I choose my password if you don't want um, it will just create a sample one I click continue now this is to ensure that it's not spam I enter my number and I get my uh, I get my sandbox details now this is the domain and that the sandbox has this is my administrator account I am at 25 users now this also gives you an option to test around the office 365 now our main um, problem statement is to create an Azure account. Now, what I do is I go to portal.azure.com and let me log out. Since I logged in, I just log out from here and I will. Now, once you do that, you might uh, be logged in with the account that you used for this. Um, this will be the account that you would be logged in. You don't want to use that. Um, you want to use this because this account will have Azure Active Directory um, premium subscription. This one would be, I mean, it won't even have an Azure Active Directory subscription. So I go ahead, I use this account, and this is the password that you just created or chose while creating this Office 365 account or Microsoft 365 account. I don't want to use MFA for now. If you want, you can choose, you can go ahead and start um, configuring your multi-factor authentication. I'll skip this for now. I don't want to use this tool. If you want, you can do. And now to show you, I go to manage Active Directory. This is just to show you what we have done till now. Now, if I go to my, um, this is my um, my domain. This is this domain that you see. Uh, now, this is my domain, and you see the license. The license is Azure AD Premium P2 license, which means I can use. Uh, use my uh, I can use all the premium features which includes my um, privilege identity management or identity governance or anything for that matter now our um, actual problem statement is to create a Azure free account now I go ahead and start See, right now we just have Azure directory we do not have Azure portal access or the Azure subscription. So I go ahead and click on start, which will take me to the Azure sign up. Now I can create my Azure free account. And again, I don't want to enable MFA. Yes, I want to stay signed in. Now this is the page where you sign up. Now I will choose my first name, my last name, my email ID, uh, keep in mind this is the email id that this one and uh, this is my email id or i can copy it from my from
on my uh, Office 365 account. Uh, this is my email ID. Phone number is required because it wants to ensure that you are not spamming. and I don't want to give my pan ID it's optional mm, since I'm from Kavad, I give my address my city state pin code I agree to share my information now and I clicked on verification using the phone number and I verify the code now once I so you have two options you can either verify using your phone number or you can verify using your um, card which I'm not doing because I've verified using my phone number so Am I missing something? No, oh, I'm sorry. Next. Okay, still asks. I'm sorry. Um, it still will ask you to verify with the card. It deducts one, I think, one or two rupees which is again credited back um, once you uh, enter your card details which it can be either visa or mastercard and you can fill up the details and you sign up once you sign up you will uh, have an access to um, to the azure subscription now uh, please keep this mind once you sign up and you enter your credit card or uh, debit card details it never will deduct your amount without your permission so once so it provides you 13,000 uh, INR credit once this is exhausted your subscription is um, is disabled or goes on hold if you want to continue using you can enable or you can convert this in pay as you go and if you do not want uh, your subscription will just stand uh, disabled um, I'll fill up this and I'll be back Okay, I have filled up my details, uh, my card details, and I'll sign up. Now, once I sign up, it will try to authenticate. Oh, it asks, it asks me to verify the details. I'm sorry, it's this. See, it deducts two rupees, which is again credited back to your account. perfect and I've authenticated my card and click on, click on sign up it will confirm my information and I will have a free Azure subscription which I can play around I can test I can create my resources I can create my virtual machine um, anything um, until I exhaust my credit
I don't want to give away. Or let's just say it was a good experience. Account is all set up, and I go, I refresh this, and there you go. I go to my subscription and I have a free trial subscription. So I have this subscription with I have 14,500 credit with Azure Active Directory P2 account. If you have any further questions, feel free to um, put down questions in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.